Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Jackson from Cafe Rica coming at you today with another coffee tip. So uh, I know, I'm sure some people have heard there are two general different kinds of coffee. There's Robusta and Arabica. And today I'm going to tell you the difference between the two. Uh, the, the biggest difference is uh, flavor. Um, Arabica beans are what we generally um, use in the United States and most of the world. And they have a little bit higher sugar content in them. So they're going to be naturally a little bit sweeter. Robusta... Um, We've heard taste kind of like burnt tires and a rubbery flavor, and that's because mostly they have a. It's got a higher caffeine content. Um, the caffeine content's roughly about two point seven percent, and with arabica, it's about one point five. So it's almost double the amount of caffeine in robusta. But since uh, caffeine has a naturally bitter flavor, it's going to be a little bit more bitter, and the taste isn't as desirable. Um, that's the first difference. Uh, the second difference is the shape of the beans. The robusta beans are more circular and uh, Arabica are more oval shaped. Um, you may also ask what kind of coffees are Robusta versus Arabica? And there's not too many coffees that you're gonna be getting that have Robusta beans in them. Um, for the most part, I would say if you're drinking a instant coffee, that's gonna be Robusta because the beans are a little bit cheaper on the commodity market. But if you're drinking a instant coffee, you really actually don't care about flavor. So it doesn't matter to you. Also, there are probably some espresso blends that still have the robusta beans in them um, they're generally used as kind of a filler to to uh, add more beans to the blend and some of their bitter um, bitter aspects of the flavor are actually good with some espressos especially like italian blends um, one misnomer though is all robusta beans have bad flavor which is false some of the higher end robusta beans are very comparable in flavor to some of the lower and mid-tier arabica beans so that's something to look forward to too but most of the time you don't really see you don't really get the opportunity to taste many of those in the u.s um there's so the the world coffee market is about 75 percent arabica beans and 25 percent robusta so that's just why there, there's a general um bigger population of arabica beans than robusta beans um i think that's probably about it for today um you guys have any other questions or any other ideas for coffee tips please leave them in the comments below and as always take it easy